Okay, so it's a Mac 5.1, and um, a lot of people have been sort of, this thing's been around for like 13, 14 years, and it should really be dead by now, and <clears throat> there's an amazing group of people online who've been trying to keep it alive, hacking the operating systems so you can get the latest operating systems running on it. Now, there's a point, though, I think, with this, where you just aren't really going to carry on much further with a Mac. And I sort of came to that point. I just gave up sort of trying to put the other operating systems on it. And also the big problem with these is you couldn't upgrade the graphics cards very far because of the power requirements. Now, as you can see in here, I've got a MSI GeForce RTX 460. Now this only has a TDP of, I think, I believe 115 watts. So that means it can run on this power supply that's in this machine quite fine. However, it doesn't support OS X. <clears throat> so when you put one of those in there, you have to say goodbye to OS X, but it leaves you lots of options. You obviously can just still run Windows 11 on it. Great. And then you can run multiple Unix systems on it. So the way I sort of play on here, I just take you through the hardware. We've got the RTX 460 there. Then underneath it, we've got a um, um, NVMe card, which is the boot drive now for the system which runs Windows 11. And then above it, we've got a Titan Ridge um, Thunderbolt 3 card, which allows me to bring in material really, really quickly, really, really fast. Then above that, which you can't see, there's a USB, USB 3 card, which has USB-C connectors and USB-A connectors, which are the old ones. And for the hard drives, what I like to do is this first one, it's basically one of those caddy units. So I can keep some SSDs separately and I've got Unix on there. I've got Linux, which one? Um, Ubuntu on this one. And I can just switch them over, put it in, she says, put it in. And then I've got, when you do the alt on the boot at the beginning, you can you can run the other operating system. Now, one of the big things is when you put this card in, you have to, to get it to run, you have to get it, do um, an, a boot, an injection on the BIOS to get it to actually run it. Now, this is all documented online. I put a link to it, how you do it, but it's brilliant. So like going into 2025, is it still viable? Well, it is when you put that in it, basically, it becomes a lot more viable for a 1080p gaming machine. Brilliant. It does great work in, in, um, you know, in standard applications, you can run DaVinci Resolve, you can't run uh, Premiere on it anymore because of AVX2 extensions. But yeah, so what I'll do is I'll do some benchmarks. I'll just show you a little benchmarks and you can you can and see how it sort of sort, sort of feels with that card in it. It's it's the bit of the game changer. Okay, so here we are in Doom. Now, you can see, I don't know if you can see this tiny thing on the top left-hand corner. It's actually um, locked at 60 frames a second. And I was just took you through the settings. This is actually in 4K. And I've got most of the um, settings on max. And as you can see, it's like perfect. Yeah, pretty running around. Absolutely fantastic. Exactly how it should be. There you get that guy coming up. Yeah, that's doing so that plays really, really well on this machine. Absolutely no problems with that. Okay, so you can see we're in just Space Marine 2, 40k. And you can see the top left there corner, I've managed to get a frame counter going on. It's like 70, this is 1080p um, top. Um, sort of um, top spec, I believe, and it's just sort of like rumbling around there quite merrily. It looks pretty good. So, I mean, I don't have any complaints with that. I mean, there are some things, there are certain games you can't run on these machines because of AVX2 extensions. Um, I think that Starfield's one of them, there's another couple, and Helldivers you can't play on this either, which is a shame. But, I mean, there's a lot you can, which is the main thing. So yeah, that's, uh, that's quite heavy, heavily trundling along at uh, 60 frames a second. It looks great, plays really well. You can see it's super responsive.
All right, so this is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Um, again, this is 1080p and it's really high spec that it's set on. Um, but I mean, the beauty of it, it's got RTX, so you've got the DLSS, so it can give you pretty good frame rates. So at the top of this, like on 90, 95, 80. So it's doing really, really well. It's a great looking game and it's it's done, it just performs really well on this machine. It's really, really All right. responsive. Ooh. And really good. Anyway, there you have it. That's Tomb Raider. So this is um, I ran uh, Time Spy from 3D Mark on here. You can see the scores. I've scrolled down there. We'll come back up to it in a minute. But it's performed really well. It's got graphics test scores of 64 and 58 frames per second. Those graphs, I don't know what they mean. I'll be honest about that. But if you look there at the top score, 9,117. Graphic score is 10,133. CPU score 597. I have no idea what that means. So there you go. I'm going to play it with a bit of doom here sort of uh, the background voice let's just talk over this I mean it's interesting to see it's a 13 14 year old machine and with the advent of a RTX 460 it gives it a really uh, good beefy power to play games and stuff like that you can still do content on it but as I said there's problems with with um, uh, Premiere because of AVX2 extensions and you find that with a lot of the games as well have this but it's still got legs sadly you can't use OSX to get this I'm sure some clever guy can write a patch um, to get the um, web drivers working or something. I mean, I don't think you can, but it would be great to get, if they could just get the drivers working, it would be amazing to get this thing. It's still got legs. And uh, you can see, I mean, it's very, very playable. Um, and it's a really, really um, great bit of kit still. So yeah, for 2025, it's still got legs. It's still got life in it. Depends what you want to do with it. I mean, for me, I use it as a testing machine. It runs, it runs Unix great. Um, and you can do all sorts of stuff in that as a test machine and my son plays he's got all these games on he has no problems apart from the you know, probably can't play starfield but i mean there's only there's not that many games that don't use abx2 um a lot of the metro games play on here very well and um, things like that anyway i hope that's been of use to you and if you've still got an old 5.1 i'd keep it going um because they're really really good machines anyway thanks for watching